I want to let that sink in for a second, you guys, just an understanding of our own anatomy. When you look at the female picture I've included for you, um, the clitoris is almost always drawn as a very tiny dot. Um, that isn't exactly accurate either. Um, so it can swell and it can have uh, its original shape, just like a penis when it's not erect versus when it is erect, changes size dramatically. The clitoris can change size as well with additional swelling and just originally, just like men have different sizes, we can have different sizes of clitoral tissue, of labias. Um, and I encourage you to break down some barriers about shame and how we're brought up and not feel weird looking with a mirror. It is sort of tucked, it is below us. It's not an area that's easy to look at all the time, but we should know what our own tissue looks like. We should know what our own anatomy is like. I get women all the time asking me after kid one, two or six, is it normal down there? Well, first of all, there's a very wide range of normal um, again, discolorations, just like the rest of our bodies, that area can have freckles or moles or the size of labias can be vastly different. Um, there's a wide range of peach and pink and brown and all of those colors, not just based on our outer skin, but just based on pigmentation that can be variable. So it's much, much, much better for a woman to know her own tissue because your redness might not look all that red to me or you might think it's really, really red. And if you had known your body from earlier on, you'd realize that's your normal. And to know when something is truly inflamed or discolored, if something's suddenly gotten dark or brown, it's like, okay, is this just pigmentation or do I need to have this checked out? And only we would know from looking at ourselves. And when I do our mom, daughter, know your anatomy workshop, know your body workshop. I try to get the girls to like lighten up a little bit about it because they're just sitting there like wicked awkward. Like I'm in here with my mom and I don't want to talk about this. I'm like, is it weird when you look at your own armpit when you first start shaving or you're checking if you have hair? We don't make armpits weird. Look how weird elbows are. Elbows are very weird and have wrinkly skin, knees and kneecaps, very weird, but we don't make it weird to look at there. It's just our body and it should not be weird or shame.